All right, here we go. Joelle and Lachelle, happy to have y'all both on the platform. Hey, what's hey, up? Hey, Art, how you doing? Hey, man, I'm doing great, man. Just grinding, man. So before we get into the interview, Joelle, people already know who you are, and we did like two interviews already. But Lachelle, let the people know a little bit about you, because you related to Suge Knight, right? Yeah, that's my relative. Okay, okay. So let the people know a little bit about yourself and how you related to Suge Knight. Well, I'm Lachelle Danae Sanders. I'm from Compton, city of Compton. I'm a comedian, actress, and Suge is my family. My great-grandmother brought his mother and everybody down from Mississippi to California. So, yeah, we're second cousins, all of us on my dad's side. Right, so let's get right into it. Me and Joelle, we did an interview before, and she went into detail about how she was at the vibe party the night Biggie got killed, and how she was talking and hanging out with Biggie moments before he got killed. And she said you was actually with her that night as well. So detail that night to me from your point of view. What exactly happened? Yeah, it was it was more than just us, yeah, but I was there. So we went to the party, and it was there, and it was super cool. I mean, it was vibed out, you know. DJ was in there jamming, you know. He gave it up to the East Coast and he gave it up to the West Coast. And I mean, it was it was such a surreal moment, at least for me, because I remember when the DJ was playing um, Pox music and I was looking and I was sitting down in the seat and I was looking at Big and Big was actually singing Pox music. Rapping it hard. His new music, you know what I'm saying? Not you know, the prior stuff when they were cool, he knew Pac's new, new music. Lyrics, yeah. So that mean that he somehow had the CD, something or something to that nature. So yeah, we smoked weed with and Big. And he was feeling it. Well Big, well, Big was my homeboy anyway. Anytime Big came to LA, he called me to get the weed. He knew. When you came to LA in the 90s, you wanted some motherfucking weed, you hollered at me. <laughs> I was the weed lady. I mean, not really the weed lady. I didn't, I didn't sell it. I just knew the motherfuckers that had it, yeah. you know. And then when they sell it to them, I made sure I got me some free weed from both parties. So that's all that was. Yeah, booyah. Yeah, so we had smoked and shit like that, chilled, kicked it with him and Lil C's and um, Puff. Uh, Stevie J was in the house that night, mm -hmm. you know. We all just chilled, really. And then shit, basically coming out of the museum, because everybody were leaving like at different times, and basically when they were coming, I mean, we were coming out, all we heard was shoot shots and we all ran back and then we came back and then they was like, yeah, whoop, 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 whoop. They wasn't saying what had happened or who had got shot just yet. They was just saying they were shooting and the police was blocking off stuff. So we had to get in our limo actually like down the street like. So we went over, by the time we were on our way to, I think I want to say it was a party for Mary J. Blige or something in the Hollywood Hills house, they had said that Biggie Smalls had got shot. And I was like, oh, fuck, this some bullshit, because I felt like it was barely six months that we had got over Pac dying, and now yeah. the fuck Big out here, and y'all going to do this bullshit and we too? we just with him. You know, so. And had smoked the last I, month um, with him. I had, um, when we got to, the party that they said was Mary party up in Hollywood Hills. They were saying he was at Cedar Sinai. And then I want to say, next thing you know, the DJ announced that he had passed. Wow. Yeah. That fucked me up. That, that fucked me up. I'm like, damn. And there was so many stories because they were saying the Muslims had him killed. Then they were saying... Southside, I mean, it was just I don't a lot of I stuff. I don't understand. The, the, the big thing that I don't understand about this shit is that y'all can find every motherfucking body else, but you can't find who the fuck killed them. You know what I mean? That's just bullshit. It's hurtful. That's, I mean, I, 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 I don't get that. You know what I'm saying? I just don't get that. Why the fuck y'all do everything else, but the fuck you can't find who the fuck killed them? I don't get it. And then had a thousand shows on it, a thousand conspiracy theories, and all kind of things that's going on, but still, no nothing. Nobody seen nothing. <laughs> so. They killed Biggie. Nobody seen nothing. Killed the homie Pac. Nobody seen nothing. Somebody seen something. And it's a time to 
let it be known because you know we love both well, them brothers now well you know what i say i, I said um it's gonna take somebody from generation z and they gonna come and they gonna put the whole shit together and know how it went oh, and man. be able to say it but we may not be here to hear it you know what i'm saying it may be in an, another space and time sometime when they come up with it and um joel you made a comment earlier you said that um y'all was actually smoking a blunt with biggie at the party the last blunt was smoked with him before he went out and got shot wow so um what was the conversations like with biggie when y'all was at the party did y'all have any like just chilling smoking just, hey, talking, talking about his new music other. they had played going back to cali and you know one thing about it the track that he used on the back is a cali jam you feel me? We always mess with that Roger and that George Clinton and all that type of music, you know. So that going back to Cali was super big. Right. You know what I'm saying? So that was the jam. So, you know. So we imagine, we, I was hurt this to learn the thing that people thought is. me and Lachelle no, set them up. No, this is the thing of we it is. We would never do anything like that. We wasn't even them kind oh, of people. Oh, I, I never even heard that till Art said that. I never even, I never, I never heard that in my life till you said that. I ain't never heard that in my life. Nah, I don't, I, I don't have no idea. I never heard that. And I will say that. I, 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 I never heard that. that kind of stuff. I never heard that at all, so. That I yeah, say. I was just about to ask y'all about that, man. So how do you feel about the people that's been pushing that, man? Saying that y'all played a part in Biggie getting killed. And how y'all was in cahoots with Biggie's killer, and how y'all was sent to the party to be a distraction to Biggie. How y'all feel about the people pushing that, yo? Well, I just think people are ignorant, and they gonna believe what they wanna believe. But we ain't no set up queens. We honor our kings of hip hop. First of all, I'm from motherfucking Compton. <laughs> You do not play with niggas in a motherfucker in that kind of shit. You know what I'm saying? When niggas want bitches and weed, that's when niggas call me. I don't play that bullshit. I don't be in a grown man's business. I stay in a woman's motherfucking place. You feel me? I don't get in grown man's business. That's their own shit. Niggas call me when they want to fuck with bitches and weed. Not no motherfucking gangster shit. You want to talk gangster shit? Talk that shit to your own homeboys or some other bitch. To live I and die I'm a comedian. LA. I tell jokes. I want to have fun. You know, if you want to have fun, a good time, call me for that part. I, I, I never did none of that bullshit, so I never heard that. I never heard that part any motherfucker way. It wasn't no distraction. For one, when Big Nim walked out, they all walked out by themselves. They weren't with no girls. They was with their own crew. <laughs> they all walked out. So, you know, like I said, I, I, I didn't even, for one, at that time, I wasn't even fucking with Death Row and Suge Nim <laughs> because I was mad about Pac dying. To me, I, I, I blamed them for that. Not directly that they got him shot, but I just feel like all those situations and the bullshit that Death Row was going through is the fucking reason why my nigga was dead. And Pac was my homeboy before the Death Row shit. So fuck yes, I took it personal. I take shit personal about my motherfucking people. I ain't no punk bitch. I'm not, now that's where I ride at. I ain't finna ride to get a nigga killed, but I ride for my motherfucking homies straight out and Pac was my homie that he looked out for me he made sure i ate every time he came to cali he called me we did shit together that was my motherfucking nigga straight like that don't even make me cry talking about Pac. get me started <laughs>